Hi there, it's uh, Marcus here from 4 Pass Software. Um, we've done a lot of changes in the 4 Pass system over the last while. I just want to run through some of the options with you in separate videos. In this specific video, we will be handling how to restore a database that is coming from a different computer or a backup that you've had somewhere or whatever the case may be. So on this computer, I've just reinstalled 4 Pass uh, on the system. It's all blank, as you can see when I open up the 4 Pass program. It asked me to register the software. Uh, at this point in time, because I have a backup, I'm not going to try to put in my voucher number and in again. I'm going to simply click on register later. The system will come up with a user ID and password. And again, because it's blank, I can simply click OK. So now I have my blank database um, that is part of the installation. So to get the system up and running, in other words, restore my backup, go to utilities on the back office program. Uh, go to click on restore backup, type in your password. The password is the same master password we use all over. And as you can see, today is the 20th of April, Friday afternoon. Um, and I'm typing 20 hash as 04. All right. And if it will then prompt me and say, OK, fine, point it to where the backup files are that you want to restore. In this case, I want to restore um, this backup, again, I've sorted it out there. As you can see, quite a lot of backups there for customers that we help and assist with. You most likely will have the same type of scenario for every day or every time you do a backup, there will be a, a raw file. So I'm simply going to double click on that file and the system will extract those files, uh, start the process. And once it's uh, extracted the files and imported the information stored in that WinRAR files, it will simply prompt me to open up the back office again. And now I can open up my back office. Once the back office is open, it will effectively put me back to where I was at that backup time or time of backup. And then I can type in my username and password uh, on the system and I'm back in again. My system is back registered to the name that I had. Uh, if I go to my products, all my products that I had would be there. In my case, um, this specific database, um, we were just testing blank items and blank information. So yes, all the products and all the company registration details, everything would be recovered from there. If you had a database that's been running for some time, you can obviously go to your day and reports just to verify that all the information is there. And that's as simple as a restore is these days. The important part is to make sure that you've got a backup, um, a backup done by four parts, obviously, not just a copy of a file or anything like that. And that's the process. Enjoy.